Hello everyone. Welcome to AITechone.com. My name is Sumit Goyal and I'm here with my new video in LWC web series. And the topic for today's video is how to insert record in an object using LWC. In my last video, I explained that how do we create a lightning web component using Visual Studio Code and how do we deploy that LWC component on Salesforce our, in our Salesforce org. So in today's video, we'll see how do we create a new record using a LWC. So first of all, we required, uh, we need, okay, so we required Visual Studio Code to be installed. And I believe that by going through the last video, my previous video, you have successfully installed and configured Visual Studio and Salesforce CLI and the package required to, package required to be worked on Salesforce to want to be created to set up a Lightning Web component. So let me start my Visual Studio code and uh, let me run my Visual Studio code. So that's my Visual Studio code. And what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to start a new project. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new project here. And in order to create a new project in LWC, it's pretty simple. What you have to do, you have to simply create, uh, you have to simply press control. Either you can press control shift plus P, that's the shortcut, or you can use this gear icon, command palette, and we'll just say create project with manifest. So I'm going to create a new project. And the project name I'm going to create here is, the project name which I'm going to give here is, let me see the command palette. Yeah, so I just I just want to create a standard project and my project name is new account LWC component. That's my project name. And I want to I want to save this project in my LWC project directory, which I have created. So as you can see, I've already created LWC project directory where I'm going to add all of all my Lightning Web component projects. So I'll just create this project into this directory. And yet, as you can see, the project is created successfully with default libraries and packages. And in Force app, in the, under main default, you can see a LWC folder has on, already been created. If LWC folder is not created for you, so you have to add that folder. And uh, you can right click on Force app main default, and then you can create a new folder name as LWC. But in, my, in our case, we have already created because we have used manifest files and all. That's why LWC project already created. Now what we'll do, we need to authorize this. So I just click here, here rear icon, command palette, and we are going to authorize an org with the Salesforce. So I click on authorize an org. So I am going to control shift P and authorize an org. So project default and hit enter and you can see authorization will begin. And what it will do, it will open in your browser, the default browser, it will open login.salesforce.com and here we have to provide the credential. So I'm using this credential for my, in my case, I'm using this credential to be uh, for authorization and provide the credential admin hash one two three four five and login. And once the login is successful, it's login in actually. Once the login is successful, the it will send a confirmation message back to L, uh, back to Visual Studio Code that authorization is successful. This is the ID and it ended with the exit code zero. Means the authorize the authorization is successful. Uh, the connectivity between the Salesforce and Visual Studio established successfully. Now it's time to create. Uh, now it's time to create a uh, new LWC project. So I just right click on LWC and say create Lightning Web Component. So I click on Lightning Web Component project name. I just write new account, new account, and hit enter. That's the name of the component, the LWC component. I click on new account. Uh, the desired location where we want to store, where we want to create this in LWC and hit enter. So it will create a new LWC project for us. You can see. Now one very uh, one thing. Uh, uh, if you remember in Lightning component, if you want to perform any DML operations on our Salesforce object, we need to take help of 
server side controller class that is called apex class same manner in lwc component if you want to perform any dml operations we, we need to take help of apex class so now it's time to create an apex class so i'm going to create an apex class here right click on classes so this is so we got a classic directory and right click on classes and i just say create an apex class and the class name is let's say create acc1 create acc1 hit enter and the directory we would like to create this under classes hit enter and you can see the create classes acc1 class gets created and now what i'm going to do is i will be going to create a class here so the way we used to create classes the steps are same uh, because we want this class to be the function we are going to create we want that function to be accessed from lightning web component so we specify with that aura enable and you can see by default it creates a method for us so public static uh, public static and it is going to return the account confirmation and the method name is let's suppose the method name is create account and this function takes one this function takes one parameter as account acc okay account acc i just remove this to and all and i just simple right here insert a uh, let me use this exception handling let me use this exception handling block and here i just write insert acc and it is going to return Turn, it is going to return ACC. Save this. So I'll save this. This is the Apex class we created. Now it's time to create the. Now it's time to design the component. But before designing the component, I just want to customize this meta XML. In this meta XML, the first thing I just said is 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 export is equal to two. If we do not set this as true, then our Lightning component will be deployed on the our Salesforce or, but it won't be visible. Uh, it won't be accessible for public users. So therefore, I just set it here, and we are going to set the target. Where do we want to add this LWC component? So I'm going to set this in Lightning app page, and target is equal to Lightning home page. So I just add this component on two places: Lightning app page and Lightning home page. So I just added it here. And this works perfectly fine for me. Now the next thing is we are going to create HTML. Now in this HTML, in this HTML code, uh, what we have to do, we have to design our Lightning Web component. And in order to do that, in order to design a Lightning Web component, I already got a component. I have already created that with me. So let me open that and let me explain this to you. My code is already ready. So that's the code. And in this code, you can see. I'll just set the new account, new account record. That's the title to be created, lightning card, title as new account record. Icon name is a standard account, so it will display the account icon. And see, we created three variables, lightning input label is equal to name, their value is equal to rec.name. The REC is an instance which will be going to declare in our client side controller class to uh, basically in order and this REC is REC is going to refer the instance for this class. So REC is going to refer an instance for this class which will be going to declare in our FX uh, in this client side controller class soon. And on change, it will call up, uh, it will call an event call handle change, handle name change. If we put an industry, so it will handle industry change and it will so basically. These functions are used to assign the values or declare the values into the attribute. So, and then we got a button here, save, uh, save record function. The label is save record. And on click, I'm going to call handle click. So this handle click is a function which will be going to declare in our client side controller. So this is a client side controller class. Now in this client side controller class, I'm going to create a track. And track is basically, it is used to track the uh, it is used to track or it is used to declare it helps in declaring the attribute so let me show you that how do we create the attributes how do we work on the attributes and along with this we need to declare few libraries also so before we move ahead we need to declare a couple of libraries and you can see the libraries we have here we have is account object schema account and uh, name field is 
schema account dot name industry field is coming from account industry phone field is coming from account dot phone see import create account from apex now the our apex class name is create acc1 and from create acc1 we got a function called create account function so it is going to call this function so be very careful with your class name so here my apex class name is create acc1 why it was not showing an error message earlier because in my in my salesforce or there is already one class name as create acc that's why i labeled it as a different class name let's say create acc1 i labeled it as a different class name as create acc1 and import show toast event this is to display the confirmation message uh, whenever we declare whenever we create uh, whenever the record get inserted we need to display a confirmation message so this is for that now let's complete the code and uh, in this code and you can access the code so i'll just share the uh, i'll just give share the link to download the code in the in the uh, in the comment section okay in the description you can copy from there right so you can copy this from there and uh, now let me just set it set it up that's the code i so that's the code i have and i'll just paste it now this is the code let me let me explain you this code line by line and we'll try to understand what exactly this code is uh first of all if you can see what we have done we have create uh, we have created t variables see these are the attributes so this is a way to declare an attribute in lightning web component what are these these are called attributes these are attributes industry name industry and phone and they are referring to name field industry field and phone field then what we did we declare one at we declare one variable basically this is for assigning values what exactly so what's the purpose of this is for assigning the value the purpose of this is to map the values to assign values so whatever values we assign into the attribute it will assign those values to assign values assigning value we can we are assigning value got it now if you remember we uh, there now the next you can see handle change name handle name change handle industry change and handle phone change what are they they all are the functions they all are uh, this this is all we declared here as you can see we declared here see this on change handle name change Uh, on chain on industry handle industry chain and handle phone chain that's the same and what are they doing actually they used to assign the values to the uh, they will they this, they used to assign the values to the attribute so this helps in assigning the values to the attribute okay this will be assigning this will be and uh, helping in assigning the values to the attribute and finally when we click on a button it will call when we click on a button it should call handle click event have a look handle click and when okay on handle click event what i have done on handle click event i declare see this we are creating a new record create account is acc dot this record and uh, we will be assigning basically will be assigning the value so this is to declare blank and so once so basically what happened we uh, okay so what is what exactly is this this message is, so basically we created a record if we uh, if the record inserted successfully then what happened we retrieve the message and uh, we retrieve the message we just set all the fields to blank and we display a toast message see this new show toast even this library we, this package we declare here see this. import show we have imported here from the lightning platform show toast even and it will display success message account created success if it failed if error got basically if, if it is error if any error occur if get failed then we display a error message in the show toast event so this is how we create a lightning web component in order to add a record into an object and as i mentioned that i will share the complete code in the uh, in the description section you can download the code from there now let's do one thing let's deploy this so let's deploy this lwc component back onto salesforce so i just right click and say deploy source to org so i click on uh, sfdc deploy source to org and you can see deployment begin and once it is completed we got a confirmation message you can see one apex class created and three 
files created for the lightning component and the component name is new account now uh, the, the the deployment has been done successfully let's go and check whether the uh, whether this component deployed successfully or not and in order to do this let me refresh our application first and i will be, uh, basically i'll just open a sales application because i want to add the component on a home page and edit this and i will replace this with the custom one the one we created let me edit this visual code page of this uh, this home page of our application and delete this component the existing one let me remove and instead of this i want to add a component and the component is new account component we can new account that's our component name new account so i just want to add this component by so drag and drop this component here let me save all home page title home page back so you can see now the component is ready that's the label we that, that's the header we add new account record as you can see this is the same header we declare here new account record and the icon is a standard account icon so this is the account icon let's test it out now in order to test it i'll just add a dummy record i just write here let's say lwc account industry is banking and phone number is 9080706 and click on save record and if record insert is successfully see that success post message account created successfully let's go and check i click on account and you can see lwc account record created successfully we can open and check this record and and you can see this record created successfully in today's day so that's the way we create a lightning web component to add a record into an object so that's all in this video if you like this video don't forget to press like button you can subscribe our youtube channel to get more updates on lwc component don't forget to press the bell icon to get the reminder for the new video updates if you have any requirement for any customized training on sales force you can reach out to us on www.aitech1.com or you can reach out to us on the contact numbers and the e or you can drop an email on support at the rate aitech1.com thanks for watching have a nice day bye, -bye.